Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video on Sylvie. Sylvie is a ranged character who focuses on applying sight stacks and piercing. Sylvie takes approximately 20 minutes to unlock. First of all, in Act 1, you go to the very bottom and navigate to the Forest Glade in the very bottom right of Act 1. Once you're there, you must defeat the mini-boss and obtain the Moonstone. You can choose either option, but I choose to wait so that you can gain access to some items after the fight. You then complete Act 1 as normal. And just to let you know, when you fight the boss of Act 1, you can use the Moonstone and you won't lose it. Once you have finished Act 1, you navigate to the blue portal. In the blue world, you navigate to the Owl Guardian in the middle of the map and select Give. And this will unlock Sylvie, as simple as that. When selecting perks on Sylvie, I like to go for a 37, 9, 4, 0. On the general tab, I like to maximize speed and energy on turn 2, as well as an extra sight stack. Once again, you can balance however much you like on health, resistance, shards, and gold. On the physical tab, on under sharp, I like to make sure that we don't lose any stacks per turn, and I maximized my piercing damage. On the elemental page, I put one point into chill and inspire at the very bottom as well. This is because once we upgrade the ice shot to four chill, if you add this additional chill, it will mean every ice shot applies one slow to the enemy. Uniquely, Sylvie's starting item is a pet called Harley, who fires at the back hero applying sight and doing a little bit of bleed. Sylvie's passive is called Keen Sight, which means sight on enemies also reduces their piercing resistance by 0.5% per charge. Sylvie's starting deck is two camouflages, a falcon shot, which is the unique card, four quick shots, one vigilance, three ice shots, two multi shots, and two rapid fires. When adding cards to Sylvie, I like to add one song of celerity, two vigilances, and an uproot. When removing cards, I like to remove one rapid fire one multi-shot, one ice shot, and one camouflage. I will then upgrade one camouflage to be permanent so that I don't lose it. I'll reduce the cost of all the quick shots to zero as the extra damage isn't needed. I'll upgrade the Song of Celerity to make it innate and the uproot to also make it permanent. I will now also upgrade the ice shot so that they now apply five chill which means that the slow will be applied on every single shot. When you're in the shop, you're looking for any additional damage that you can find or sight stacks, but in this case, I'll just take the weapon and some speed and resistance is always useful. Luckily, you don't need to fill the pet slot because once again, you're given a pet for free, a very good pet at the start of your game. When playing Sylvie, you want to burn as many cards as you can and just try and maximize your piercing stack so that you can keep spamming shots. If there are any high priority targets, you can focus them with ice shots to slow them down. Otherwise, your hand pretty much plays itself. She is a very strong hero who scales very quickly if she's built in the right team. Just make sure she gets lots of protection and is able to just keep building up to be stronger and stronger. So thank you for watching today's video on Sylvie. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe. And once again, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Across the Obelisk content. Thank you and goodbye.